Brooklyn Independent Television. I actually grew up in Coney Island. I lived in one of those uh, co-ops down there, in those large buildings. Um, my window actually faced the ride, so I faced the cyclone, the wonder wheel, the parachute jump. In the summer, if the wind was blowing the right way, you can hear the people screaming when they went down the first drop on the cyclone. And, uh, you know, as a kid, we went to the beach every weekend, so I, I love Coney Island. I mean, I, I grew up here. I have family who still lives here. When I started doing photography, that was one of the first places I started coming to to take pictures because Coney Island has the most interesting people in the world, you know. Usually I like to just try to capture the one moment. If I'm doing just the landscape, like right now, shooting the, the pier with the sun behind it, um, there was only, you know, there wasn't anyone walking by it. There, it was a very static scene, so I didn't need to shoot a lot of frames. But even sometimes when I'm shooting people, I'll just try to get that one moment rather than holding the shutter down and just hoping that I get the right one. I, I try to be more deliberate now. I think the thing, the reason that I started doing that more is I recently started doing film. Back in May, I started shooting film for the first time, and uh, with my film cameras, it's all manual, so you have to just click once and uh, either get the shot or you don't. So that, that's changed the way I shoot digital a little bit. This is a Kodak Brownie, and I was talking about people that I've met online on Flickr. This is actually given to me by a friend that I met on Flickr, and she's one of my favorite photographers, so Claire Vokel, and she, she was trying to get me into film for the longest amount of time because I used to just shoot digital, and so um, I, she published this great tutorial on how to develop your own black and white film. And I started shooting film. I used the tutorial. It was great. And she had given me this camera because she wanted me to get into medium format photography. And uh, I, I love it. It's like, uh, it's totally point and shoot. There's no settings. You just kind of, you know, there's one button to take the picture and another one if you want to do a long exposure and that's it. There was one day last year that I came down to this pier, and it was around March, I think, and the light was shining through the boards in the boardwalk, and there was this awesome pattern on the sand, and I got some good shots, and since then I've never ever seen that again. And then now they've actually changed it to these concrete slabs, so that, that the, the, the lesson learned from that is that whenever I see like a shot, always try to get it then, because you're never necessarily going to get a chance to get it again. When doing the urban landscapes, I wanted to get the people in those communities in the, in the shot some more. So having some of the, um, you know, the characters from Brooklyn in this amazing architecture that has this character, it really, that, that's, that's really fun. That's what I like doing. Actually, if I, someone asked me where my studio was, I'd say Coney Island. That's my favorite place to shoot, I think. I, the thing about Brooklyn, and like every place else in New York City, there's rapid change. Some of it's really good, some of it's kind of sterile. You know, some, some of the things you see are, are like, you know, people want to bring the look of Times Square into Coney Island, and that just makes it bland and boring. Um, but as far as shooting goes, Brooklyn's one of the most interesting places. The people are interesting, the architecture is interesting. You could walk three or four blocks in a row, and you have completely different architecture, you have completely different people and you just have these amazing scenes. One of the things that's really challenging when you're doing street photography is especially, when, you know, I'm trying to find like a, a smaller digital camera that works a little bit better. When they see me picking up this camera or see me shooting with it, people always walk out of the way. And sometimes I'm standing in a spot waiting for someone to walk by. And I was once standing there like this. There was this really cool mural and I wanted to get someone walking in front of it. This is new, this was in Manhattan actually. And you'd think that in Manhattan, you don't have to wait more than five seconds for people to walk by a certain street. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? I take my camera and I realize there's a line of people waiting for me to take the shot. I was like, I didn't know people were that polite here. <laughs> the thing I love shooting the most, and I don't always get it, but the thing I like the most is when I can get the right person fitting in the right scene with the right lighting. If all those things could line up, then I'm really happy. And, and what the right person and the right scene and lighting is, I don't know until I actually shoot it. But when I see it, I'll, I'll, I'll usually know it and I'll usually try to grab it. And, and my idea of what it actually is, is usually completely different than what it actually happens. One of the shots that I'd taken was in Clinton Hill, and there was this really 
cool wall and it had all these textures on it and all these textures of like orange and red and when I shot that the day before I was in that same neighborhood trying to shoot that wall and I was standing there for about 45 minutes trying to trying to get the right person to walk by and I took like about 30 shots the lighting was great the sun was just about to set she had these amazing reflections on the wall and the shadows but I just didn't get the right person who fit that wall for whatever reason. I, you know, I didn't know what it was. So I went back the next night and I managed to get this woman to walk by in this like summer dress that matched the colors of the wall perfectly. And I was like, that's it. <laughs> Someone once mentioned to me about being in the right place at the right time and they saw one of my photos and thought, wow, you got really lucky there. And a lot of times it is luck, but a lot of times, you know, what I do is I'll pick a spot and I'll just wait around for as long as it takes and if I don't get anything, I'll move on. But, you know, sometimes I'll wait there for 20 minutes or so. Even on the days that I don't get anything good, it's still a learning experience. I still enjoy it. I think I got a couple of good ones. So, some days I come out of it, and if I get one really good shot, it was worth it. Become a fan on Facebook. Like Brooklyn Independent Television.